The office is empty, as all my colleagues have gone to some small cloud show in Las Vegas. But anyway, I'm staying here to give you all the latest Azure sugary delights. So this week, I have a mixed bag of sweeteners from the world of Redmond Clouds. Azure DevOps on-prem version is now in release candidate, and that's pretty cool. There's a public preview of simplifying confidential computing in Azure IoT Edge and you can join the online connect event in December. I've spoken about Azure DevOps before. It is a one-stop shop for your code management, build pipelines, project management, and testing suites. Or you can use each component on its own. Whatever is your choice. Now, I recently helped organize the Melbourne community launch of the new rebranded online platform, which was formerly known as Visual Studio Team Services, and I'm really impressed with it. The ability to mix and match your tools and providers of choice is super powerful and can help you get a solid project pipeline happen much quicker. Now, because not everyone either wants or can use a cloud solution, this week the release candidate of Azure DevOps Server 2019 was released. It includes the new Clean DevOps interface that was released a couple of months ago and is in effect a replacement for the well-known and loved, maybe, Team Foundation server. It has almost all of the features of the cloud offering and there's even an express version for single developers or teams up to five. IoT news seems to happen every week in Azure World and this week the Open Enclave SDK and the Open Enclave integration with Azure IoT Edge was announced. Now, this particular solution addresses a concern of data security when being processed at an Edge node in an IoT system. With this announcement, developers can write trusted applications that root trust in any secure silicon TEE, or trusted execution environment, built on such enclaving technologies like ARM Trust Zones, Intel SGX and embedded secure elements using Windows or Linux operating systems. Now at this point, I probably need to explain enclaving, yes? It's the idea of having a separate part of the network, in this case in Azure, that is completely cut off from access from other parties. Not even Microsoft themselves can peek at your data in the enclave on the Edge node. The Open Enclave SDK provides a programming interface for writing applications that take advantage of an enclave. It is a security in a box, a black box, full of unicorns, probably. Now, I'm a bit in love with conferences, especially presenting to an eager crowd of developers. But sometimes the events are nowhere near where you are. Now, online events to the rescue! And when it comes to online events, Microsoft Connect, brackets, because we have developers, right, is among the best ones. A full day of dev-focused delight, including updates on Azure and Visual Studio, keynote demos, and real-time coding with experts, all from the comfort of your couch. The agenda includes DevOps, Kubernetes, serverless compute, IoT, AI, and developer tooling. Microsoft Connect, brackets, 2018 takes place on December 4, and you can join for free using the link below. I know, it's sad. But you have to wait another week to get more Azure This Week shenanigans on your screen. I'm done, and now I'm going back to writing more amazing course content for the Cloud Guru platform. Did someone say Azure certification? Hmm. Now, in this episode, we covered Azure DevOps Server 2019 RC1, which is now in release candidate. This on-prem version of Azure DevOps is free to download and take for a spin, at least for a while. There's a public preview of simplifying confidential computing in Azure IoT Edge with Open Enclave SDK and secure Edge computing hardware. And the online Connect event is on in December and you can join for free from your computer. Pants are optional. Seven more sleeps and we shall meet again. Keep being awesome, Cloud Gurus. <laughs>